Hi, this is the screened in porch that isn't actually screened in, it's more finished. Um, this is behind the garage and that is the roof of the garage. You can tell, you can see that the original siding of the house is right there and that they added the garage and this that I'm standing on right now. And then you go into the large kitchen. Um, so far there isn't any issues that would require you to do a renovation loan that I see, um, but there definitely is a lot of things that I personally myself would do, like the flooring, the kitchen ceiling, um, the windows coming off of the kitchen is one of the bedrooms and it's awfully brown and orange all paneling the paneling looks like it's in some really good condition so you could possibly paint it outside view is pretty Um, this room does have a closet, a small one, but a closet. And the kitchen does have a very large pantry off of it. Through the kitchen is your stove, freestanding. And then this door that's closed is the door that leads to the third floor. The door that's open with the light on is a closet. And then you have this room, all paneling, brown carpet. Um, there's definitely buckling a little bit of the paneling, so I would Got it and drywall it. The beam's nice. The water and electric power has never been off. Here's a second bedroom. And this at least is not paneling. Big closets. Same side view. And then this is the front view. But carpet, paint, windows. So, a linen closet, and then another bedroom that is too dark to see, and the light is not on, but it's a nice size bedroom. And then, your bathroom. Um, the bathroom does look like it has a nice surround in it, but if it were me, I got it. And now I'm going to take you to the upstairs. Um, the steps are traditional attic steps for this age home. And they have this attic in two separate spaces. This is the one where they call it finished 
and then this is the other side of the attic unfinished all right so that kind of gives you the layout of the house the house itself the layout's not bad um, where the funky layout comes into play is this part of the house and then when you enter into the house you come through the front door and the front door you see your steps and then you kinda are in your basement you walk into your basement. Your basement is on the first floor of the house. It's dirt, gravel, floor for most of it. And that really is what's unconventional with this house. I can't honestly say structurally that's going to come down to the appraiser and what the appraiser says. Um, the panel box, I know it's really dark and I'm sorry, is up to date. The hot water tank looks fine and your furnace is a um, steam furnace, so they have water, heated water that runs through the baseboard heaters and that heats up and that's where your heat comes from. I would upgrade the furnace, definitely. Oh, and that door apparently leads to the backyard. And that's a sink. And I can only assume that a commode went there. No, that's a shower. A shower went there. Okay, so shower, sink, and yeah, so this is where the unconventional part of it is. With the right amount of money, it can be finished. The question is, how much money will it take to finish this, and would it be worth finishing, um, along with the cosmetics that would be needed for the upstairs and main part of the house. And this is the garage. And let me know if you have any questions, additional questions on this house. I'm hoping you looking at this video kind of gives you a good general idea of the floor plan and the true condition of the interior of the house. If there are any other houses that you're interested in and want me to do this with so it doesn't um, suck up your time and let me know. 440-787-7570 or you can email me at soldwithtwyla at yahoo.com s-o-l-d-w-i-t-h-t-w-i-l-a at yahoo.com